Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragomania Legends! So today we have a legendary dragon to hatch. Oh, it's been a while! But here is the egg right here, so obviously we do have the luscious, delectable little legendary skeleton dragon today. I love the little blue tips on his wings, but this guy did take a little while for us to breed, but anyway. This dragon was so excited for its first battle that it painted itself to look like a skeleton to intimidate its enemies. Unfortunately, because it couldn't read, it managed to use permanent paint. That is so sad. That would be like those weird people that used to permanent marker their whole face and then it just wouldn't come off. You know? But you know, he looks cute. I wonder what type of dragon he used to be. Was he just a regular fire dragon and then he like covered his face in like permanent paint and then he just turned into a shadow dragon i don't know that's a cool little story but look at how cute this guy is i always love like the baby fire dragon body type where he's got his little ar little armies out and he's like floating around but yeah this guy did take me like 30 tries i think it was to breed maybe a bit less than that but this is the only legendary that I have been missing from my monthly dragons list. So here, there we go. We finally got them all apart from the root dragon, technically. But yeah, I love the little bluey green tips on this guy so much. He just looks so nice. And he does have earth and shadow typings as his missing elements. I'm not going to rename him because I can't think of a name at the moment. But there we go. New Legendary Dragon is always pretty good. And there's only another five days to breed him, actually, so we were cutting it pretty fine. But the two dragons I was using were, like, what, level 20-something? Level 20, at least? But, anyway, instead of worrying about the Skeleton Dragon now, I have been trying to breed the Cockatoo, because, lo and behold, I finally, finally got all of the energy pieces I needed to upgrade my golden crow. It took far too long. But we can try and breed the cockatoo, and that is not it. We're looking for a 16 hour breeding time non-VIP, so we are very far off with that. So I'm going to be trying to breed the cockatoo continuously whenever the event isn't on, because I don't know if you know yet, but the Halloween solo event is starting tomorrow, so Thursday. So make sure that you are keeping your farms free. Make sure you're keeping your breeding den as free as you can. Obviously, I haven't, I'm not a good example of that. But I know what time the event is starting. I can't tell anyone when that is. But, um, yeah, whatever. I know when it's starting. Just make sure you leave your breeding den open after tonight. And make sure your farms and that are all clean, spotless. So that then you can focus on doing the event tomorrow. But, um, obviously since I do have the crone dragon's egg here since I unlocked it. Oh look, another eight hours for it to go. We don't actually have any reason to do any more dungeon fights. Great, right? I actually wanted to keep doing dungeon fights so that then I had different content to show rather than just these stupid enchantment fights over and over and over again but you know what what can you do i'm still so annoyed that as soon as i don't pick one of the dungeon chests to get the dragon out of course that's when it gets unlocked of course i couldn't be the one to get it uh i guess i should just give up on playing dml right now i can't even get my own dungeon dragons without having to get someone else to do the unboxing for me. Damn it. But no, you know, I did just do a video, so there isn't really too much for me to add, but um, the only thing new Halloween solo event map, or like super event map, looks really, really nice. Same with the dungeon background in the dungeon. That like, special Halloween theme that they've got going, it does look really pretty. So, you know. And I swear to goodness gracious, if this game starts giving me energy element materials now, I am actually going to scream. 
Because, like, from the first day I was trying to upgrade that golden crow dragon, I was missing, like, two of the energy element materials that I needed, and it took me a month to collect two. Two of the big ones. So, no, I was not a happy chappy. And, um... Trying to breed this cockatoo dragon has proved to be a lot more difficult than I intended it to be. That's just putting it mildly. But, you know. At least we got there in the end. At least we got there just in time for the Halloween event, so we can't actually do anything with it, right? Perfect. Ah. Uh, but, you know, if we keep doing these enchantment fights whenever we can, we'll keep getting materials, we'll be able to upgrade stuff in the future that we're looking to get. So obviously we still have some other dragons that we can breed now. Some of the other level 5s, and the superhero we still have not even tried to en enchant breed yet. So I do need an awful lot of enchantment materials still. What a surprise, right? It's not like pretty much 90% of people that are in that boat. But what can you do? You know, for now, I'm just gonna sit down, take it slow, do the event. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish the event. We'll wait and see. Don't give me energy now. Don't. I guess I can use it if I want to uh, do it for the Watson Mahuha Majiggy. What's it called? I don't even remember which ones we need. Like, I think we have to upgrade our Tiger to level 2. And uh, the issue with this is because I've been putting so many energy materials in to create excellent ones. Oh, look, I have nothing left. Ah, I just need the good ones now. Energy is just the story of my life. You know, what can you do? Just suffer, struggle, cry, cry a lot. Oh wow, Andy's actually going to be level 61 soon. It seems like we're gaining levels pretty quick on him now. That is pretty good. But yeah, look, today a chance to win the Chrome Dragon. Oh yeah, baby. I'm pretty stoked that I got it really quickly though, like, if I didn't get the crone as well as the boxer dragon, I would have had a fit, to be honest with you. But there isn't an awful lot else for me to do today, plus I'm a little bit tired. Just kind of want to finish off Cowboy Bebop since I'm on episode 25, so I'm going to do that rather than just playing DML for the rest of the night. But yeah, next time we will have another brand new dragon as well, the Crone Dragon. So many new things all at once, Jesus, how can I keep up? And possibly an event video as well, might even be before the Crone one. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, good luck with all of the breeding with the Skeleton Treater, good luck with the Crone and stuff, but until next time, I will see you then.